Okay, so let's scrub through this one more time, see how far we've gotten. Awesome. Good deal. And so let's look at the next part of our example movie. So we've gotten our picture, our logo, our text, our presents, and the and everything in the kitchen sink. So the next thing that we're going to do is pop in this Time Fighters uh, title slide right here before we get into our footage, which is a bit easier. And this is kind of a combination of just, this is just uh, a different font centered and the opacity to play with. And we're going to add a special effect to this blur so we can have this blur in. Just keep it a little bit more interesting and cool like that. So let's, uh, let's shrink this again. Let's go back into our timeline over here. Blah, 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 blah. This all happens. It's very nice. So let's go to the five second mark that's over here. We're going to adjust our work area just a bit. Get it down over here so that we can see what we're doing. Let's close these up. And we're going to start a new text layer. This time is for our, um, our title slide. So we'll click on the T tool again. Click in the screen in our comp window. Time Fighters. And uh, let's adjust this to our font that we want. Let's double click on it. I believe it's, uh, uh, actually I don't remember what it is. I thought it was Trajan Pro. Yes, it is. There we go. And let's make some adjustments to the size and that way it makes it look cool. Keep it in our safety, in our viewer safe area. This text area. Text safe area. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> and center it a bit. Uh, that's a bit too tall. Let's do that. Right about there looks good. I don't know what I was clicking on. So we have this in here and let's uh, the opacity for this is going to be at zero for right now at this particular frame. So let's click on it, hit T for opacity and we're going to click a key. We're going to change the value to zero because that's where it's supposed to be at right about now. And let's say half a second later it reaches its full uh, 100%. 100%. We've made a change and a keyframe at the same time and you can see that float in. But now what we're going to do is add an effect and that's the after effects part of I mean, it's the effects part of after effects and that's what it's used for there's a whole ton of them but we're just going to be covering the blur today you're more than welcome to um, you're, you're more than welcome to experiment with a bunch of them and to your heart's content some of them are uh, really heavy on your RAM so you might want to be careful when rendering those out the more effects that you have that's applied to a layer the longer it takes to render but uh, this is going to be a really fast Fast thing, we're just going to add a quick blur. So with our layer that we want to have the effect applied to in the timeline, we're going to click on that, have it selected, and we're going to effect. And in this case, it's a blur. So we're going to look at all these crazy, crazy things you can experiment with. This blur, and then we're going to do a fast blur. For the most part, fast blur should be in your version of After Effects, uh, depending on what version of uh, the creative suite that you've got, either like the master collection, the director, designer, they all come with different levels of um, add-ons that are packaged with it. These, For example, these CCs won't show up in the simpler packages because those are the old legacy um, um, or one of the effects that came with uh, the higher end systems. But we're just going to use Fast Blur. It should be available to everybody and it's probably um, it's going to give us the best results. So once we click on that where our project window was we now have our effects controller and um, if you notice as well we also have this effects twirl down menu that showed up on our timeline as well we'll twirl that down and uh, there's the effects that we have and fast blur and this FX is the we can toggle it on and off much like the visual and the sound um, and we'll twirl this down see what we have here and the same options are available to you on the timeline as they are up here they're just a bit easier to work with in the effects control menu window up here and uh, let's right now there's no animation on it and there's nothing there's no blurriness in effect but if you crank this up right here let's go to this blurriness and then we'll crank it up you can see what's changing in the comp in real time at that particular frame or moment so uh, this looks about right. Let's do 20. 20 about there. And uh, let's go halfway in between this opacity. So about right there, we want it really blurry. Let's do about here. Let's give it a 22. And because we're going to be animating it as well, let's click on the stopwatch up here. Or you can click on the stopwatch down here in the timeline. It's just, you know, we've been working with it up here. And it's a bit easier to, to work with on other effects up in the effects control window up here versus on the timeline because it can really get messy 
And let's go to the last keyframe that we made on the opacity with the K shortcut. And uh, we can't read it so <laughs> because it's blurred out. And we want this blurriness to be all the way down to nothing so that way we can read our time glorious Time Fighters title. And because we made a change in the blurriness in either here or up there, we've created a keyframe from it. So let's do a really quick scrub of what it's going to look like. We have everything fading out, and then our Time Fighters blur fades in like that. Ooh, look at all fancy. Let's shrink down our, whoops, let's shrink down this window a bit so we can give a preview. Let's do a RAM preview. Real time. Forgot to turn off the music, which is loud. Right there. That's good. It happens a little fast, so let's extend these a bit more. We'll adjust these. Uh, let's grab the last two keyframes, and we'll, just a few frames. See, re-preview that. Much better. A little bit cleaner, a, little, a lot more dramatic. So we've gotten that part in, and what happens next in our example movie is this fades out, and this kind of a cross fade, and we'll do that. It's a really quick and easy effect to do uh, without even adding any special effects on here. But let's go back and review this just for a second. You remember hitting U, the shortcut U, will bring down anything that you've animated over um, that particular layer, including the effects controls. So Hitting U on the Time Fighters layer will bring down the blurriness and the opacity because we animated both of those. So let's go back to our project over here. It didn't hide. It's just, I mean, it's just hiding over here. It didn't lose it though. And let's scroll that. Scrub. I mean, um, let's U this back up. Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Command U. Go away. So we have this. We have our logo. We have Time Fighters popping up. Now it's time for our footage to be dropped in. We want to give people a lot of some time to really take in Time Fighters. So let's go to the seven second mark. That's a whole. Uh, second and a half to start reading these almost two seconds to read Time Fighters but we want that because it's the name of the game you know just for visual impact so now we're gonna bring in our footage that we have and it's completely labeled Time Fighters footage we're gonna drop this down into our comp but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a really quick adjustment right now because we just dropped it in there it's sitting on top of all of our text we actually want it below our text so we're gonna much like in Photoshop, you can drag and drop the layers. And so you grab, click it, and then drag it in between one of these. Let's do it right there. And now Time Fighters kind of sits on top of our footage, which is very acceptable. And um, But we want, at this point, we want our footage to be, let's say, it, at zero opacity. So let's click on our footage. And much like text, we're just going to toggle the, oh my gosh, Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to be toggling the opacity on it. So click on that. Hit T for the opacity. And uh, let's make it 100%. But let's go back uh, about half a, half a second. So it's 15 frames using the page up. 15. And we'll drop this opacity to 100. Bam. And let's see what that looks like. Fade it in. We'll scrub through it. And at this point, we want Time Fighters, the actual title of it, to be a little bit less on the opacity. So let's let's go back. Let's go hit J to where this is zero, and let's go about ten frames ahead. We'll make a keyframe right here on Time Fighters to make it at 100%, and then let's go another ten, and we're gonna add in a keyframe for zero percent on this time fighters thing so that way there's a bit of a crossfade and uh, it's a bit of a lead-in for the viewer um, you know time fighters and if they have just a little bit of stain like you still see the logo here but the footage is popping up you directly associate with that that's just a little uh, viewer psychology for you 